Greetings and salutations, my friends. My name is Casey J. Hutchins. I'm a writer by trade and a gamer unpaid. So today we are here to talk about us, the summoners. Summoners are a class of sorcerers within the world of Magi Totem. When they hold the Rock of Afaprob, it glows orange. And unfortunately for them, all the items in their bedrooms start to teleport near and in front of them. Usually, much to their horror as they're trying to uh, hide their stuff and collect it. Now, as the name suggests, they summon things. How they do this is that they have... Their meeting is gauntlets. And they have to put a variety of symbols on a target, depending what it is. So items are easier to be able to do this with, because it's not going to fight back. However, living beings, bit of a different story. Usually it involves a complicated network of, of spell markers to be able to capture a being. And in most instances, they have to wear them down. When a, a being or an item is then stored, it gets their own little pocket dimension of which it go grows around the item or being's needs. Not a lot of space, though. Where, where, do, where does this go, though? So, for the summoner, they will usually carry around some kind of, like, collection item. This can range from, like, bottles, some have done jewelry, but the most common of all is you're going to see a book. And in this book, to be able to summon the creature, they need to be able to summon the creature or item, they have to touch it with their gauntlet. Now, you might think it's very hard in the middle of the battle, holding a book while, while trying to pick certain, pe certain things to come out and fight. However... The summoners have one other spell that is uh, their, uh, within their normal and most used arsenal. And it's called Eskew. Now, Eskew is a spell that that uh, you use on an inanimate object, and it links with a person's psyche. And whenever the caster thinks, or it doesn't even have to think, it just links on automatically to their mind and will do whatever they're thinking almost before they even really think about it. So, in the middle of a fight, that book will be flying around and turn the page the summoner needs and all they have to do is touch it and the thing is summoned. Quite handy. But also makes it a little deadly. Because they can't, they can also use SQ on, like I said, any inanimate object. So if you find yourself in Say a suburban area that has rope and barrels and you know, boxes and furniture. They can make everything come to life around you. And beyond that, a summoner is some, one of the most chaotic sorcerers to fight. Because you don't know what they collect. You could be fighting something that just... All they collect is... Could be just swords. Maybe they're just a sword fighter. That's it. You could be fighting somebody who's an animal trainer, and that's how they summon out their their creatures. Or they could fight someone who fought in so many different wars that they captured a lot of their enemies, and now they fight for them. You just don't know. The sorcerer, the summoner, can just completely mess with any plan you could ever come out with. In the book Scars and Scales with Casey J. Hutchins, we meet only one summoner. And strangely, uh, he manipulates gingerbread men to do as he pleases. But yeah, that's it for the summoner. So I'll either see you the next time, or the time after that, or never. Bye-bye.